Hey there, little friends! Today's video is about silkworms. Silkworms are tiny worms that spin their own silk cocoons. Did you know that humans and silkworms have worked together for thousands of years? Silkworms have been raised to produce fabric for thousands of years and can no longer be found in the wild. Silk production first started in China around 3000 BC. They begin as worm-like larvae with three distinct body parts of an insect. After spending time in a cocoon, the silkworm morphs into a scaly four-winged moth. The moth cannot fly nor can it see. Its only job is to lay eggs. They have wings about two inches wide and a white, hairy body. Adult silkworms have small mouths and do not eat. One moth will lay approximately 500 eggs over a four to six day period. The eggs are covered with gelatinous secretion by which they stick to the leaves. Soon after that, the moth dies as she does not eat anything. They hatch into larvae in about two weeks from eggs at a temperature of 18 to 25 degrees Celsius. They constantly feed on mulberry leaves and gain almost 10,000 times their weight in a month. The worms molt four times before spinning their cocoons. About one month later, it has enough energy stored and it's ready to start spinning its cocoon. If the worm is allowed to survive after spinning its cocoon, it will make a hole in the cocoon when it exits as a moth. This would cut the threads and ruin the silk. To produce silk, the cocoons are thrown into boiling water, which kills the silkworms and also makes the cocoons easier to unravel. The silkworms from the Bombex Mori moth produces the finest and purest silk as they are exclusively fed only chopped mulberry leaves. The fluffy white cocoon spun by a silkworm is one long continuous silk filament, which is usually between 600 and 900 meters long or as long as 1,600 yards. Four to eight of the silk filaments are twisted together to obtain one strand of silk thread. About 2,000 to 5,000 cocoons are needed to make a pound of silk. The cultivation of silkworms to produce silk is called sericulture. In their domestication, the moths lost the ability to fly. Do you think silk production is cruel? Comment and let me know. So those are the few interesting facts about silkworms, little friends. I'll see you in another video with another insect that starts with D. Until then, keep guessing, take care.